Hey there, home theater fans. My name is Todd Anderson with AV Nirvana, and I'm hanging out here with Rick Latovsky, Cedia 2023 in the Mile High City. How you doing? Doing great. Thanks so much, Todd. It's been a year since we talked on a show floor, and you guys have been super busy. Tell us a little bit about what's sitting here behind us, because I know you guys are really excited about bringing it to the show this year. Yeah, thanks, Todd. So it has been a lot going on. When we last met, we were debuting some pre-made um, back in 2022, our motion AI stuff that's now available. Uh, so that was a quite a fun journey, bringing that to the market. And we'll talk about that in a second, but we've got here the NV Extreme Mark II. Uh, the Mark II um, Pro is also now shipping, so we're excited about that too. All new custom case, nice 20 millimeter front plate, totally redesigned cooling, all new components, and a new GPU that brings double the amount of graphics processing power to the MB in use for our motion AI and other such AI based features. Right. And this is a sizable piece of equipment. Is the Pro version a little smaller than this one? They have the identical case, very similar. Main difference is the GPU. So you get the same great cooling, same custom design, and um, the, all, all the next generation features as well, except for the AI-based uh, op options. So you're talking next gen features. Let's run over a couple of the, the big ones. Yeah, so Motion AI is the world's first AI-based motion interpolation. Typically, when you mention motion interpolation to people, one of the first things they say is, oh, you mean that thing that right, shut it off, off. <laughs> as soon as they get a TV? Right. Sure. And the reason that happens, Todd, is because of the way those are implemented. So the idea behind them is very solid, right, which is to help reduce some of that judder mm -hmm. and motion blur that's largely caused by sample and hold displays. Okay? Okay. So sample and hold is basically the way a frame is displayed. So modern TVs, they display an image and then hold it for that 1 24th of a second mm -hmm. and then display the next image. Right. And that same image is on the same brightness. If you think back to way traditional film projectors work or CRTs uh, or even like plasmas, it was different. It was, this is oversimplification. It was essentially a flashed image that kind of then faded and the flashed image and then faded. And because the way our eyes work, there's something called persistence of vision. And so with sample and hold, with the, the way our brain works, the way we perceive motion, it creates this artificial motion blur, which is kind of distracting. So what motion AI does allows you to lay on just enough of that to counteract mm -hmm. that motion blur from that many sample and hold based displays right. will add. Okay, and I just got a demo of it back in this room here. This is the Trenov mad vr sendo booth uh it looked really really good yeah thanks i'm glad we've been getting a lot of amazing feedback about yeah. that it's really For just sure. knocks your socks off when you see it and how nice it can really look like that and uh what other new features are included on the mk2 model so the the main thing the software is largely the same as the mark one okay. the main thing is adding that headroom mm -hmm. to be able to run our new upcoming motion AI, well, the motion AI, you can also run on the Mark I. You have more headroom on the Mark II for different strength levels. When you, when you say headroom, what is it just the speed of the processing or? It's the amount of processing, right? So okay. one of the reasons that these technologies haven't existed, right, because traditional motion handling that you have on your TVs and, and projectors is done without AI for the most part. And as a result, they don't have the same amount of processing power and capabilities, and what you get are potentially increased artifacts, uh -huh. right? Or soap opera effect that you can't control. So with the MV, instead of being off, low, high, you can control a very, very fine grain level of settings. So you can layer in just a little bit. So that, and we have some other AI features that are in development for the extreme as okay. well. Ooh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little teaser there. Something we might see coming this year? Very soon, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, yeah, and everyone out there, you do know what the soap opera effect is. When you see it, once you see it, you can't unsee it. This takes care of that though. Yeah. This makes it, yeah. uh, this makes it very uh, visually pleasing, I guess you can say. Right. Yeah, it adds some stability to the image and some clarity mm -hmm. while still 
keeping it looking like film, as long as you use it appropriately. Okay, so let's dial it back a little bit from the tech stuff and talk about for the average, kind of the, your average consumer that may want to buy one of these. Uh, how would you, what would your recommendation be to them in terms of the complexity of setup? Is this something that you really need a professional to bring into your home and set up? Or is it something that someone can get a hold of and set up themselves? Yeah, so it is very easy to set up. Generally, these things are installed by dealers. A lot of times people have them calibrated, so you may have a professional calibrator. The MB supports extreme level mm -hmm. of calibration, both the pro and the extreme, the amount of accuracy that you can control from that. Okay. So that's really big, but you can set up yourself. You know, the menus are very simple. Um, I think we can bring this up here. So you could just see it's a very friendly type of user interface, right, where you can just kind of put the settings how you want them. You need to know what they are. We have sure. quick start guides. So it's pretty easy. I would say most most of our customers that are more in the enthusiast marketplace, they will um, set it up themselves. Others have their dealers install them, set them up for them. Right, you really need a dealer if you're gonna layer in the calibration side of things to come in unless you have all the equipment, right? right basically right. Yeah. to do it yourself. Yeah. Exactly. Awesome. Well, how many booths are you guys in this year? Yeah, so um, I think uh, we're in eight or nine wow. setups here at awesome. CDA 2023, up from five uh, a year ago. Uh -huh. um, so it's uh, pretty wild, you know, as we're supporting not just uh, Turno Vicendo, Kaleidoscape, and and uh, Fisciana Acoustica, uh -huh. and uh, you know, of course, all the other great brands. You know, you see Barco and so forth in here with us. Yeah. Um, but in addition, you know, there's several other brands like Sony um, and Storm. Uh, yeah, I know you guys are in the Storm booth. I'm looking forward to seeing that tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, and several others that we're, you know, uh, happy to help out and uh, just help ensure they can deliver the best video experience for the customers here at, at Cedia. Awesome. Well, where can folks find out more about your equipment? Yeah, so the best thing is if you go to www.madvrnv.com, mm -hmm. there's a, all sorts of resources, links, guides, depending if you want a high level. There's links to our YouTube channel on there. Um, so Instagram as well, or LinkedIn. Okay. Um, there's all sorts of great resources on YouTube. There's tutorials that explain everything, how it works. Mm -hmm. And then you also have, um, you know, through all sorts of guides on our website. So it's really a great resource, it's easy to get up to speed. Very cool. All right, folks, you've got your homework cut out for you. you got to go check out this gear because it really is pretty awesome stuff. Um, kind of a must-have when you have a high-end home theater. Oh, thank you, Todd. I appreciate that. Awesome. Well, best of luck with Cedia, um, and uh, we'll see you around on the show floor.